guys, so today I'm doing my sample Sunday video or hashtag 365 days of samples. If you haven't seen this from my channel before, I pretty much go through and pick 10 sample items that I want to try and use up during the week. It can be deluxe samples, it can be foil packets, small samples, things like that. And I'll share with you guys next week or the next update kind of my feelings on the products. Did I use them up? Will I declutter them? Am I still working on them? Do I like them? Dislike them? Things like that. So I will link my playlist down below for you guys who are interested in more Sample Sunday videos. I've been doing this for a little over two years now, so I have lots of weeks of Sample Sunday videos for you guys. So let's see what I've used up this week. Okay, so the first thing is from Plant. This is that Get Happy body wash that I talked about last update that I thought I was able going to be able to use up. I did. I really do like the scent of this. I do like that you kind of squirt it into your body wash. This is, I think you can get it at Nordstrom actually. I'm not sure. If I can find a link for where you can buy this online, I'll put it down below. So it's something that I'm interested in, but for me, I'm not going to go out of my way to try and find it. To purchase, I normally like to purchase from Target, Sephora, Ulta, and like CVS or Walgreens for my beauty products. So if this kind of goes more mainstream, I'd be interested in it. But right now I'm just kind of using my body shop body washes and I just purchased those at Ulta. So this was really nice, but I'll just keep buying the body shop ones. Then I used up the Belief True Cream Aquavon. This is really good for a night cream. Uh, it's more of a gel than a moisturizer so it's very hydrating and perfect for dry skin it's just not something that I am going to purchase due to their cruelty free status they are not cruelty free then from Than I had another body wash this is the aromatic wood body wash and I got this kind of from a hotel it was nice I really liked the scent to it I just it was okay I'm not gonna purchase it either then I have my last First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, and I know that they had a mini set that was on sale yesterday, and I was kind of going back and forth if I wanted to purchase it or not, uh, but we were snowed in, so I couldn't go to the store, and I just did not want to force myself to buy a bunch of stuff from Ulta to get free shipping, you know what I mean? I definitely think this is something I'm going to get a full size of. Um, but I will get it once I'm done with my other kind of moisturizers. So the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, I love it. My hands miss it. My body misses it. But I'm going to wait a little bit before I purchase it. Then I had the Biore or Biore Face Strip. And I kind of use this on kind of my cheek area. I definitely have been getting some breakouts right here. So I wanted to use this on it. It really didn't pull away any of the gunk or anything on it, which I was really disappointed in. I normally use the nose strips and those work fantastically. I think maybe because I don't have a lot of blackheads or anything that it didn't pull anything out. I don't know. It was kind of a bummer and I'm kind of upset about it. Then I have from IGK, this is the Hot Girls Hydrating Shampoo. Now, one, I don't like that it's called Hot Girls for some reason. And then, like, I tore off right here and it had her name, but you can see, like, they keep covering up her face. And, I don't know, I just kind of don't like the marketing of this at all. And then I saw something else, another product that IGK had, and it was weird marketing like this, too. It wasn't called Hot Girls, it was called something else. And I just, I don't know, I didn't like it at all. So, because you're, like, trying to sell it to girls or women, but you have this, I don't know, it just seems like this would be great for a guy shampoo if you want to get a hot girl kind of thing. I don't know. Then again, using this product, it wasn't very moisturizing at all for me, so I wouldn't recommend their hydrating shampoo or conditioner. Moving into items that I am still working on, I tried the Audacity Pure Element Synergy Immediate Skin Perfecting Beauty Mask, and I still have one more usage of this to go. I am posting a beauty mask first impression and demo tomorrow on my channel for that face mask. So if you guys are interested in seeing my thoughts on that and kind of how it applies and kind of looks while trying it out, then check that video out coming tomorrow. Um, but overall, it's kind of messy and I like the feeling of it, but I'm going to finish it up this upcoming week and I'll kind of close out my final thoughts on that mask later on. Then I had the 
Sunday Riley Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment. I can use this while being pregnant. I didn't find anything that stood out to me for an ingredient that I could not use. I really, really love using this stuff. It is super pricey though, so it's not something I'm going to purchase unless I really, really need it or really want it at the Sephora sale. Um, but I'm probably about right around here. Not too much product left to go. I really like the feeling of my skin after using it. It's just really soft, a little bit tightening. It definitely does some like chemical exfoliating on my face. So I like using this at nighttime before putting on my day cream, my night cream. Um, for the morning time, I've been using my Ole Henriksen True Serum Vitamin C Serum. That is what I use today, but this is some good stuff. I'm gonna keep using that. Then I had a hair oil here. This is from Theory. This is the Argan Oil Ultimate Reform Hair Serum. And I wanted to pull back this little paper. See where I was. Okay, let me mark this. Okay, so I am about a little bit over the halfway mark. Not exactly halfway. But I've actually been using two hair oils this past week. I've been using the Balance Guru No Frizz Oil, and I use it on dry hair. But for this, I like using with my conditioner or when my hair is damp before I blow dry it. So that is what I did today. I used it with my conditioner. It was okay. I didn't notice like anything too crazy. My hair is still kind of a little frizzy. Um, I'll keep using this and let you guys know, but it's, it's okay. I for this point. Then the last item was the Shimanuti. I hate saying that word. Shimanuti uh, pumpkin enzyme mask. You guys saw, if not, I'll link it down below my first impression and demo of this face mask. Since then, I haven't reached for it, honestly. It has been kind of a snow day, like for the past, since Tuesday night, it's been snow day here. So, really, this is the first day I put on makeup this week, other than Monday and Tuesday. So, um, I just didn't really do masking. I washed my face and that was about it. So, I definitely need to do more masking this upcoming week. But, we have four items that we are still working on for this upcoming week. Let's draw six new items. So, we have one, two, three, four, five, Six. Okay, so the first thing here I'm so happy about. This is the YSL Mon Paris fragrance. You guys know if you don't, I love this fragrance. I have a bigger rollerball version of this as well. I'm going to apply this now. It is a rollerball. I must have got it as like a 100 point perk or something. It smells so, so good. Oh my gosh, guys, I love this stuff. Um, a YSL is not cruelty free, but fragrances are hard to get cruelty free. I'm going to keep getting this Mon Paris um, fragrance. Then I have from Clinique, this is the Moisture Surge Hydrating Supercharged Concentrate. And it's kind of weird that it kind of fell off the card, but that isn't cruelty free, but I will definitely give it a go. Then we have from Dr. Brandt, this is the Pore Norm Abrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. So we have a exfoliator to try. I wonder if this is a chemical exfoliant or a physical one. We will see. I will let you guys know next week. Then I have from Algenis, this is the Recharging Night Press Serum. So it's kind of a night cream or serum. And that is what it looks like. It's definitely more of a creamy. It's kind of hard. But it's like a, I guess it's a serum. We'll see. I might have to declutter this. Maybe it's getting old. Not sure. So I'll keep, I'll play with this and let you guys know next week. Then I have a makeup item. This is from Becca. This is the First Light Priming Filter. So this is the purpley looking one. And I'm excited to try this. I have not tried it out before. I do like the backlight primer, but having a little sample of the purple one will be nice to play with. So I will use that with my makeup this week. And I love like illuminating, hydrating, like brightening kind of primer. So that is definitely up my alley. I wonder how comparable this is. I've used it up already to that Tarte um, moisturizing cream or illuminate illuminating cream or moisturizing cream. Remember that Tarte highlighter that I used up? Brighter Days. I wonder how kind of comparable it is to that, but I used that up, so I'll just try and remember. And then the last thing here is from Peter Thomas Roth. This is the Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream. So that's what the packaging looks like. 
So those are the samples that I have used up this week and the samples that I will be continuing to work on this next upcoming week. I'm definitely getting through samples this year. I'm really impressed and proud of myself. This is something fun I really like to do on my channel and I'm glad that you guys like seeing it every week. So be sure to subscribe for more videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye!